Hi all, in the last video we learned about two key aspects that determine a topic's stability. One, neutrality, no net charge, and two, a full valence shell. When both of these aspects are met, the atom is stable. But there aren't many elements whose atoms are stable. In the neutral state, those unstable atoms have empty spots in their valence shells. This sets up the situation where unstable atoms can interact with one another to possibly achieve stable systems. Systems of atoms have the same requirements for stability as do individual atoms, neutrality, and full valence shells. Here's an example of how two unstable atoms can interact to form a stable system. On the upper left is Na, the chemical symbol for sodium. Sodium has atomic number 11. Test yourself. Where will the electrons be distributed in a neutral sodium atom? Well, as the picture in the upper left shows, two electrons will occupy the first shell, eight electrons will occupy the second shell, and one electron will occupy the third shell. That lone electron in the third shell makes sodium unstable. If sodium gets rid of that lone electron, then the outermost shell will be the second shell, which is full with eight electrons. That's shown in the lower left. This is typically how sodium atoms occur. With 11 positively charged protons and only 10 negatively charged electrons, there's a surplus of one proton. In other words, sodium atoms tend to have a one plus charge. Atoms that have charge because they've either lost or gained electrons are called ions. And positively charged ions like sodium ions are called cations. Chlorine, chemical symbol Cl, has atomic number 17. In the neutral state, chlorine will have two electrons in the first shell, eight electrons in the second shell, and the remaining electrons will occupy the third shell. That means there's one empty spot in that third shell, and that makes chlorine atoms unstable in the neutral state. Chlorine atoms usually take up an extra electron that fills the empty spot in the, its valence shell. But with 17 protons and 18 electrons, those chlorine atoms have a net charge of one minus. That can be seen in the lower right corner. So chlorine usually occurs as ions. We call negatively charged ions anions. Ions meet the second aspect of stability, full valence shells. But their charge violates the first aspect of stability. So on their own, ions are not stable they're reactive. But if Na plus comes into close proximity to Cl minus, they'll attract we, uh, each other. That's because opposite charges attract. And that will form NaCl, table salt. The attraction between oppositely charged ions is called an ionic bond. And the combination of ions that's produced is called an ionic compound. NaCl is stable. Both Na plus and Cl minus have full valence shells. The system as a whole has 11 plus 17, 28 protons, and 10 plus 18, 28 electrons. So the system as a whole, Na plus ionically bonded to Cl minus, is stable. That's one way that unstable atoms can achieve stability.